This quick video aims to improve your user experience inside of Windows 11 to help you get more out of your system and for your system to work more for you. These are quality of life options I enable on all of my PCs to restore better functionality and more control of my Windows system. These settings are very quick, simple and basic to apply. You can easily turn them both on and off to experiment around if you want to keep them. Get Windows activated for a great price with WhoKeys. Take advantage of the Black Friday 25% off sale using the links below for Windows 11 Pro home, Windows 10, and others, including Office. Apply code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off during Black Friday, where you can get Windows 11 Pro for just $23 during the sale with the code. Use one of your preferred payment options. Once your order is complete, just paste the key to activate Windows and remove the watermark. Use the links below with discount code PAN20 for the best possible discount, and thank you to Hookies for sponsoring this video. The first thing we're going to fix is to stop web results showing up in Windows Start. When you press the start button in Windows, you might automatically see some web results with inside of here. But if you go to search anything and remove the results, you can see a bunch of different web searches on the right hand side. If we go to search for something like Xbox GPU, you can see that it's coming up with a bunch of web results, even though there's nothing locally on the system that relates to this search. If you want Windows search to go back to how it used to be, so when you search for anything, it's just going to show you locally what's on your system and you can use web browsers for your search results. Press the Windows key, search for Reg Edit, open the Windows Reg editor. On the left hand side we need to go to H key current user, double click, scroll down to software, scroll down to the P section, find policies, double click to expand, Microsoft, then double click on Windows. If you don't see the Explorer key or folder with inside of here, first thing we need to do is right click on Windows, select new key. We then need to call this Explorer. That is E-X-P-L-O- R -E -R. If you want to make sure that you're doing everything correctly, you can find all of this to copy and paste in the description down below. Press enter, double click on Explorer, go to the right hand side to the blank section, right click again, select new DWORD 32 bit value, call this disable search box suggestions. Again, you can find this to copy and paste in the description down below. Press enter, double click on the DWORD 32 bit value, change the value data from zero to one to enable this, then select OK and exit out of the registry. What you now need to do is quickly restart the system for that to then take effect. Next up is an incredibly useful tool that I still find myself utilizing multiple times per day, and that is to change the behavior of closing applications in Windows. If you have an application open that you want to get rid of, let's say for instance, wallpaper UI here, if we select right click and select close window, more often than not, it will still be open in your task tray and it will more than likely still be open in the task manager. It just closes the current window that you're looking at, which means often applications aren't actually being closed out properly. And you can change this functionality to right click for end task instead of close window, which will completely end the task immediately when you click this. I utilize this to close most programs these days because when I want to close an application, I want it to actually close. If you want to enable this on your system, all you need to do is press the Windows key, go to the settings tab or search for settings. On the left hand side, go to system, scroll down until you find advanced. You should then be able to find the option for end task, enable end task in taskbar by right click and just switch this option on. Alternatively, if you can't find it in the settings menu, just go to system on the left hand side, search for end task, click on the suggested option. It will then bring you directly where you need to be to enable this option on your system. And it's just as simple as turning it on or off depending on if you want it. Another very useful and quick quality of life improvement for the start menu in Windows 11 is to go down and click the Windows button, go towards the top, right click above the search box and select start settings. Inside of here, you can now further customize the Windows start experience. So you can choose to show recently added apps, show most used apps, websites from browsing history, count notifications, folders, and more, alongside different layouts for the Windows start menu to further customize it and take control of your system. Another very useful tip is that if you have any applications you would like to quickly add in to our new cleaned up and optimized start menu, let's say I wanted to utilize Steam, I can just search for Steam. Then on the right hand side of the application, I can choose to pin this to start. Once that's been selected, if I then press the start button, you can now see Steam is in here and I can drag this around and move the order around. I can also put it inside of different folders with inside of it and to make the start menu actually useful for 
for you moving forward. One last incredibly useful quality of life update that can not only improve your user experience with your system, but potentially might even fix bugs and errors that appear on your system that aren't successfully resolved from a system restart. Windows 10 and Windows 11's default behavior is to utilize something called fast boot if it's available. The issue with fast boot is that when you shut down your system utilizing the Windows button or the power button, right click and select the option to shut down, your system doesn't actually restart. It just goes into a very deep sleep state. Meaning anytime you run into large or small issues with your system, your operating system or applications that could be resolved with a quick system restart, you aren't getting that benefit when you're shutting down your system. With this quick change, your system will now successfully fully shut down when you select it to shut down, meaning that when you boot the system back up, whether it's seconds, minutes, days, or weeks, after shutting it down, your system will be on a complete fresh boot, ensuring that no previous bugs or errors are still present in the system. All you need to do is just press the Windows button, search for Power Space Plan, select Edit Power Plan, go to the navigation bar at the top to where it says Power Options. On the left-hand side, select the option for choose what the power buttons do, select change settings that are currently unavailable, scroll down and find the turn on fast startup option, deselect this option, go to the bottom right hand side to save changes, exit out and that's now successfully applied to your system. Again, if you want to re-enable that, all you need to do, go back to the fast boot option, re-enable it and that functionality will then be restored in your system if for some reason you still want it. And that's just some very quick and easy quality of life updates and settings to make your Windows 11 experience work more for you and become way more convenient. If you're looking for further system optimization videos, check out the playlist section in the description down below or check out the video on screen and I'll see you over there.